Alrighty guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are rebuilding the Utah Jazz, but we are trading Lori Markinen. So I feel like a lot of teams would have interest in Lori Markinen, like a lot of contending teams that can trade for him. And, you know, it was kind of hard making up my own Lori Markinen trade. But I feel like I tried to get the best one here. So without wasting any more time, here was the trade we went ahead and did. So basically, went ahead and traded Lori Markin over to the Miami Heat. It doesn't show the it doesn't show the full trade for some reason, which is kind of annoying. But we traded him to the Heat for Duncan Robinson, Nikola Jovic, and two future first round picks, one in. 2024 and one in 2028 so i definitely think it was a really good trade package so basically we get an expiring in duncan robinson we get nicole yovich as a nice young power forward we can develop hopefully in the future and we get two pretty good first round picks in the miami heat so i feel like that was a really good trade for both sides the heat could definitely need some help down there um if you know jimmy butler with you no know, tyler heroes out now they don't really have any help other than jimmy so i feel like a team of butler bam marketing and I feel like they would ask for Tyler Hero if it was any trade centered around Lori Markin, but I feel like it was a really, really good trade. We're both sides, so the Heat get another player, and I, I might have just made them overpower now with, uh, since I just noticed that with Butler, so uh, I'll go ahead and do them a favor and move Markin to the four, and then, yeah, I feel like that was a really good trade. They trade two first-round picks, and I feel, I feel like they definitely got better after that trade. I might have made them overpower, but you know it's whatever, so we officially, um, so yeah, so we're officially in rebuilding mode here. I mean, I feel like we already were, but we really, really are now, so no really good players in our team at the moment no superstars since Markham is gone and I feel like we I feel like we should trade Jordan Clarkson now right I mean 17 points I feel like I feel like we should trade him now we should be able to get at least one first round pick for Jordan Clarkson so I feel like it's right we go and trade him um we like kind of do like some sort of a teardown in uh at the trade line right now so I feel like we can get at least one first round pick for Jordan Clarkson so I'm gonna try to do that right now I'm going to try to do this trade with the Thunder where basically we get Davis Bertans' contract and we also get a 2028 first round pick from the Oklahoma City Thunder and then they get Jordan Clarkson basically like a, a piece off the bench which Jordan Clarkson can go to a contending team. Off the bench he can really fit in Oklahoma City in my opinion could be like a veteran off the bench and then we get Davis Bertans in a first round pick and they are going to counter they want a pick swap, and they'll give me a second. Honestly, this Cavaliers pick swap, I think. I'm not. I know. No, it's not from the marketing trade, is it? I don't. I don't know. But I'm um, just gonna go into this trade. Basically, we trade a pick swap. We get a first and a second. Trade Clarkson for Bertans. I'll do it, sure. So we get um two like re really really bad contracts and Bertans and Duncan Robinson. So yeah, we kind of tore the team down a little bit after trade the line. But your new rotation, it's Tht Duncan Robinson. Um, so we get yeah. THC Constex and Duncan Robinson, John Collins. Um, Kelly Olenek, they want to have Walker Kessler come off the bench, which is kind of wild. Then we got Kelly Olenek, Omer Yurtsevin. I want to have Keontae George be the starting point guard of the future. I don't know if you're going to be able to do that, but I want Keontae George to be the starting point guard of the future. Hopefully, he can be that for us. We got THC, Taylor Hendricks, and Nikola Jovic. I might even run to 10 man. Maybe we don't give Kelly Olenek any miss. Maybe we trade him right now, too, but I feel like we, we did enough tearing down today. I want to give Bryce Sinsaba some minutes as well. So, we're on a 10 rotation. I'm going to give Keontae George um, the starting point guard role. And then then I'll go ahead and put in, you know, Bryce Sinsaba on the rotation over. Who would I say I was going to put him over? Um, I don't know. Do, who do we put him over? Do we put him over THT? I don't know what we're going to do here. But we might even send Bryce Sinsaba down to the G League, even though we should be getting minutes. But I'll send him down to the G League, and I'll see you guys at the end of the season. At the end of the season, Nikola Jokic is your MVP, Ricky Deere, Victor Rubinyama, sixth man Russell Westbrook, defensive player Giannis, most improved Christian Brown, clutch player going to Stephen Curry, coach of the year going to Nick Nurse of the Stephanie Sixers, all my first team, all my second team, then all NBA third team here. No jazz representatives, obviously, but we should get like a Keontae George 
on all Ricky Furch's second team and Keontae. I do not see Keontae George anywhere here, which definitely sucks pretty bad. But um, obviously we didn't make the playoffs this year. But um, I decided to run this rotation heading in um to you know after we traded Laurie Markkinen. I decided to play six, not the point, and then Keontae George at the two, so he can start. And he and and, and he actually was going off man when he was starting, as you can see. But um yeah, the efficiency has to get a little bit better, but we're working on that. He's still a rookie, and then, yeah, so hopefully he can turn into a really good player. Him, Bryce Sensaba, and Taylor Hendricks, I want them to be future starters. I don't know if they can, but we got the Celtics and the Clippers in the finals, and the Clippers go on to win the championship. Finals JP Go on to um, James Harden, which I'm um, heading into player tournaments here. We got no Jazz players. I don't think so. No, we do not. So heading into the draft ladder here, I definitely expect us to have a lottery pick. I'm pretty sure we do, right? Um... That Miami Heat pick, don't know if that's valuable or not, but I do not see us. I don't think so, and... Oh, he was there. Looks like I wasn't paying attention. Our pick was there, so we got 17, and we got pick 9, which it definitely sucks, man, getting pick 9. We went 33 and 50, or I think 49, but we get pick 9 at 17. I'm just going to immediately hop into the draft here. So with pick 9, we got Matt Bezalos, we got Justin Evans, we got Cody Williams. But I'm gonna go and take the small forward here and probably Justin Edwards. So I don't know if that's the wrong pick or not, but I'm gonna take him. And then with our 17th overall pick from the Miami Heat, I'm going to take, I mean, I see Gar here and I think he turned into a really good player, even though we could use a point guard, which we definitely could. I mean, we could, I mean, we can either take a point guard or, I mean, I think we're gonna take a, uh, maybe Gar here. Hopefully he turns into some really good. I still have to know how to say that last name, which I'll definitely um, try to um, search it up and see how to pronounce it, but Gar, welcome to the team. So, Ricky Sounding, welcome to the team, you too. Team play options, we got Walker Kessler, Abaji, Yovich, and Dalvis Bertans, and going to decline. Qualifying offers, we have um, Josh Christopher and Johnny Juzang. I'm only going to extend Josh Christopher, because I know he turned into a good player as well. And we have no bird, right? So, we really don't have to do anything this season. Um, we should have a for rotation. Yeah, we got 12 players, so Christopher should be back from the qualifying offer, and then the only thing we could do, I mean, if we could trade John Collins, maybe have to trade on or something like that, or now, that would be fine, and then, I like what we have, man, I definitely like it, so one thing I would say, um, we could sign somebody, right, we could bring in, like, a point guard, or quick, maybe trade Collins, six and have him come off the edge, maybe we start guard right away, there's multiple things we can do, um, but, you know, I don't want to make this video as long, so, I mean, I'm gonna try to sign somebody. You know what, this year, I'm actually okay with this tanking again, man, there's really no point of rushing a anything at all too far. Um, only, only thing we could do is maybe sound like a decent, maybe okay point guard. Like, Skylar Mays wouldn't be the terriblest addition, maybe, like, a good veteran player that can show some mature. Like, okay, so Ish Smith, I'll give him a minimum contract, that will probably... Yeah, so Ish Smith, welcome to the team. Then, ev then everybody else, I'm really not doing so much. So did I uh, renounce Christopher? Yes, I did. That was an accident, but that's whatever, man. They're really getting back anyway. So that'll be it. I'll see you guys in player progression. Hopefully, the progression looks really good for Keontae George, Taylor Hendricks, and Bryson Sabah. That would be amazing. And then um, we have Warriors going up, John Collins going up, Keontae George going up four. Sexton going down, Robinson going down. So these guys won't be a part of the plan. Omer Yurtsvin and the rest of the guys are also going up with those lows bright since Ba and then Micah Porter Ish Smith going down three but I will see you guys at the beginning of the season and then to go through this dissertation Bryce and Saba breaking his finger in the summer league we need you and for the regular season so please do not get hurt anymore but go ahead and download the draft class and then I will see you guys in the rotation. So your rotation heading into the season, we have, okay, so we're starting Colin Texan, Keontae George, Oshai, Abaji, John Collins, Walker Kessler, Duncan Robinson, Omer Yurtz, I want to, I kind of want to start Justin Edwards right away over Abaji, since Abaji kind of fell off in 2K ever since they downgraded his overall, but, um, I guess I'll leave, we got Taylor Hendricks and Nikola Jovic, so, I want to give Bryson Saban a minute, so, um, who do we take out, I mean, nobody really, right, Bryson Saban, do we send him to the G League? again or do we like I, I don't know man I guess he can be like an 11 strength guy like I really wanted him to get in this season which definitely sucks but um, I'm gonna send guards to the G League though for sure won't get minutes this year and then since about I would love for you to get minutes soon buddy but yeah for now it's not to say other rotation 
I will see you guys maybe at the trade line to trade John Collins, but I don't know, man. We'll just have to see. So this year, Luka Doncic wins the MVP, but this year we did not make the blast. We, we, we were really, really close for making the play in, though, so that might be a little bit of a sign. So this year, we were the 12th seed going 37 and 45, so we were around there for like the 14th, 13th, and 12th seed for like the entire year. But I, I just looked at the Eastern Conference and the Miami Heat, bro. What happened? I, I, I thought I made y'all for power, but I guess not. Um, with Tyler Hero, Jimmy, Mark, and then I thought y'all would be kind of crazy, but I guess not. I ended up being terrible and I'm missing the playoffs. Kind of wild in my opinion, but heading into the player stats, um, we still didn't have, I mean, Keontae George, 18 points. Maybe if we can, like, trade Colin Sexton and John Collins, maybe um, we can, like, get some more scoring out of George Edwards. So it's definitely a possibility. But, you know, these are two really good players. We can definitely get some assets for them. Sexton and John Collins, 10 or 11 from Justin Edwards, 11 from Decker Robinson, 10 from Omer, 10 from Sinsaba. Um, I put him in rotation a little bit, 8 from Abaji, 8 from um, Eovich. We got 8 and 10 from Walker Kessler, 7 from Hendrix, 2 from Ish Smith. But if we take a look at the playoffs, let's see who wins the NBA championship. So in the finals, we have the Grizzlies and the Pistons, and the Pistons go on to win the championship with LeBron James. So LeBron James changed the entire scenery of this team. But heading into um, player times, so we got LeBron retiring on a ring with the Detroit Pistons, man. Just seems so weird to say, but we do have, I believe that it's Ish Smith retiring. So you Utah Jazz legend Ish Smith is going to retire, but heading into the draft lottery here. I don't know if we have a pick. Um, Let's see. Hold on. I have to make sure I can see it this time, but it looks like we don't unless, yeah, I believe, no, that, that pick nine via Utah. I don't know if that's our pick or not. Let's just go ahead and see real quick if that's our pick. It's probably not, and like I said, yeah, it's not, so um, that definitely sucks. We can't get pick, that pick. We got pick 21 and 29, so... No draft lottery pick this year, which sucks. I guess we weren't bad enough, man. I guess I guess we're actually ready to maybe win some games. It depends, but let's just go ahead and hop into the draft here and see what we can get. We might be comfortable with, like, trading up in the draft just a little bit because, you know, after being not make the playoffs and pick 21 does not seem comfortable in my, my opinion. So I'm going to try and use Sexton's contract and then two other picks to trade up in the draft a little bit. I decided I'm not going to trade up, and I'm just going to go ahead and select Hugo Gonzalez, and then with our seven, um, with this pick, I'm going to go ahead and take maybe, let's take LeBron and fill up, man. I have, not, I have no idea who you are, but welcome to the team. Maybe, hey, hey, man, maybe it's like LeBron James, you never know, but team play options. Collins is going to decline. We got Kessler, George, and Robinson. I'm going to decline Abaji, so most of our young guys will probably get the role here for this team heading into the season, but we have, um, okay, so we have money for our next contract player. So, I feel we can definitely move on from Colin Sexton here, in my opinion, so we can have a new, fresh backcourt um, with Keontae George and another point guard, and then small forward, hopefully, Justin Edwards, and I, I, I have, like, the base of this team out. Um, if we can just, like I said, the point guard is the only my concern. I thought maybe we can get a higher draft pick, maybe it's like Dylan Harper in this year's draft, but obviously that didn't work so i mean now that i look at the point guards available that there's nobody i'm really not there's nobody i'm interested in and step for k cutting in but he'd probably be impossible to get at this point it'd kind of be unrealistic to get him so i mean shooting guards that maybe could play point guard let's see what we can get there um we got you know donovan mitchell i want to see why he would come back to utah so yeah and i mean unless unless josh giddy but I, I just don't know what's going on with him and i don't know if he going to be available now at this point so yeah so unless we like trade for a guy which I, I i see nobody i mean darius garland i mean if they want to if the cavaliers want to start like a full-on rebuild well, let's see what they're doing right now are they contending okay they're contending so maybe they're not wanting to give up beers Garland right now so I don't know what we're gonna do now, man. Um, I mean, Luca are unavailable. I think we might have to suck for another year. Cause hold on, let me see next year's free agency point guard. So Luca, I mean, if we can get Luca on the team, obviously that would be insane. It's good Anderson. I mean, no, no the, the rookies aren't available. It just says that because they're in, like a team option or something. But you know, the point. Let's see, shooting guards. I mean, yeah, I, I always love getting Shane Sharp on the team. But once again, I love Dylan Harper, and it, and it just definitely sucks. We couldn't get him. Maybe we can trade for like a young point guard now. I don't know if we can get that. Whoever, like Lamelo, maybe. So, uh, 
the Hawks got Dylan Harper. I mean, wait, did they? Yeah, they got Dylan Harper as a two. He's listed as a two, which he's really a point guard, so I don't know why they selected him. Man, they could have took somebody else, but... I mean, if we can trade for him, that would be insane, but it would probably be impossible, right? I mean, we can see if we can even try to get him, so, I mean, no, we, we can't even do that. So, see if they have a minimum that they want to give away, like, Muhammad guy. So, I'm going to throw this. This Lakers pick has a ton of value, I believe, so so I'm going to throw that pick out. I'm going to throw um, Colin Sexton and three first for Dylan Harper. They're, they're going to decline, like I said, so it will probably be impossible to get him. Um, I'm going to offer LeBron. Philip, actually, they can't even take him on. I'll offer one more first round pick, and they're going to decline once again. This would be my limit for first for a rookie, so I guess we're done with that. So, yeah, it definitely sucks, but it's probably going to be it for this year, man. So, another year of sucking. We're just going to have to get a backup center, um, but I want to sign an actual good backup center this year. So, Bagley, Nas Reed would be honestly pretty per. I might go, go for Nas Reed. Still 25. Still can definitely provide some value. So, Nas Reed. Welcome to Utah, my friend. So, Nas Reed, I'm going to go ahead and sign him. Welcome to the team. And then that will probably be it for this year. I'll sign the Dirt Drink Center as well, just to make sure. So, Dirt Drink Center is for like a minimum, no, not a big. So, Omar Gertzivan, um, if we can, I mean, he's not really what I'm looking at. So, Dwight Powell, sure. Uh, for a Dirt Drink Center, bring Dwight Powell and John Collins. I'm not bringing back. I'll renounce him. And then, yeah, I might be it, man. There's not much more we can do. So, I mean, that's it, yeah, so I'll see you guys in play progression, hopefully these guys can keep developing, and I mean, I don't know if there's like a point guard in next year's draft we can miss out on, or that we're missing out on, but I'm gonna have to wait for a point guard to come available, so, um, Kessler going up, Keontae George, Taylor Hendricks, Justin Edwards we have, Nicole Yovich, Bryson, Bob, Baji, um, got Gar, and then Dwight Powell going down, so, like I said, Definitely does suck. I want to contend a little bit earlier than this since I want to make the video as long as the Bulls one. But, um, yeah, it's what we're going to have to go through for now. I don't know if the Cavs say yes to this, but I'm just going to throw this straight out there with Colin Sexton and one, this Lakers pick. So, this Lakers pick has two star trade So, it's a really valuable pick. So, one, two, three, four, five with a pick swap at the end. So, five first round picks and Colin Sexton for Darius Garland. They're going to decline it, so, I mean, if there's anybody else who's making 18 million, we can maybe throw in there, I mean, uh, let's see, hold on, can we just, okay, well, we can take his money on, so, I mean, can, can we just add another first, I mean, let's see what they say to all picks, they're going to decline, they're going to want a player, obviously, but I'll go ahead and go throw this snare, they're going to decline it, so, might be unavailable right now, but let's see what we can do after, I mean, I don't know if Lamella Ball would be available either. We could try him as well, and they're going to decline as well. So, yeah, it's probably going to be not going to work. So, that definitely does suck. All right, so this year, once again, I don't think, yeah, we didn't make the playoffs again. Or did we? Um, I don't see us. I don't think we did, right? No, we did not make the playoffs. So, 11 c 40-42. I tried to make a move to the deadline, but it didn't work. So, um, the player stats look pretty amazing. So, we had 21 from Keontae George. So, Keontae George is obviously a superstar here. He's, he's the guy that we're trying to build around here. Hopefully, Hendricks this year, and then the rest of the guys can develop with him. So, I know what I'm going to do, hopefully. So, let's see what happens. So, we have, okay, so we got Oklahoma City Thunder win the championship. So, the Cavaliers losing. But, um, we have nobody retiring, right? So, I see Tristan Thompson. Don't know why I'm mentioning him, but he's retiring. Um, as a Timberwolf, just interested. <laughs> Heading into the lottery here, um, we have, we have a lottery pick. So we're projected pick, um, 12 via, um, is that Minnesota pick our pick as well? So, we are going to get pick, um, where's our pick at? Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me see for a second, because I, I, I'm, I'm just not paying attention to it right now. What pick did we get? We got pick 11, all right, so pick 11. Um, okay, so we get pick 11 in the draft, so, okay, pretty decent, pretty decent. So, who, who, who is available with pick 11? Um, is there any point guards? So, Caden Boozer, uh, I don't know if we have that one to help Caden Boozer. So, what I want to do is I kind of want to make a trader. So, can we go ahead and, okay, no, he's not, it's not letting me, so, um... 
With the seventh overall pick, whoever we draft, you will most likely probably be, we have nobody under contract right now. Instead, instead of Nas Reed, some other rookies. So, oh, what what I'm gonna do is do we still have money to um, take on somebody though? Because that could come in handy. So, Cavaliers. Um, I still want Garland so bad, but I mean, I don't know, man. Pim offering pick eleven, offering this Lakers pick. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try and throw it be first on pick I can at them to see what they say. Maybe they change their minds later. I'm just still not changing their minds. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop into draft. I'm gonna draft pick eleven, and we can see wh whoever it is, and then we can use them in a trade later. So Caleb Wilson, welcome to Minnesota. Probably won't be here for a while. Um, I mean, you probably won't be here at all. So Caleb Wilson, welcome to um Utah here, 77 overall. Okay, decent. So player options we have um Deontay, Taylor Hendricks, um all these guys that accept. So qualifying offers, Yovich, Abaji, and Walker Kessler. So um Kessler is a free agent, so I'm definitely gonna have to go ahead and resign him, Walker Kessler, and then Sexton. Um I, I wanna sign Trey Collins so because Colin Sexton will be a part of his sign and trade. So and then Nicole Yovich, I'm gonna wait on him. So I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna resign Colin Sexton and then I'll show you guys the trade that I have in mind. So the Cleveland Cavaliers are selling right now, so they changed their mind. And maybe they want to give me Darius Garland now. I mean, just think about it, Cavaliers, man. I'm offering you a lot of valuable picks that can become really valuable. I'm also throwing you Caleb Wilson, another guy that is that can become a, um, your future player, man. Just saying, Cleveland. I'm also offering you this Cavalier. I mean, Valley has one star values. Never mind. I'm offer, also offering you 2029 first round pick. This 2027 Jazz pick, and then I'm also offering this pick, this um 2030 first round pick. So, Hexton, um, Kill Blimps, and three first for Darius Garland, and they're gonna decline it. Okay, I'll be wanting to throw one more first in there. This Heat pick, and they agree. We get Darius Garland on this team to be our new superstar starting point guard. So we all know how good he develops. 28 points, 45 percent from three. I feel like on the defense, I don't know. Um, Garland, I mean, Garland is always a good defender at 2K, never mind. So now I have an all-time, I mean not all-time, a really good backcourt of Garland and Keontae George. So that's um, something. And then we can also get a back to power forward now. And Nikola Jovic. So Nikola Jovic, welcome back to the team. Won't have enough money to sign anybody now, so we got Darius Garland, so that officially, um, so, so we went ahead and brought in Nikola Jovic back, Taylor Hendricks, so I like we have, I definitely really love we have here, and then we can also, once again, just uh, sign some extra minimum contracts, bring in Jonathan Isaac, why not, we can go ahead and bring in, um, Aaron Wiggins, why not, so bring in Aaron Wiggins, bring in, bring in Jonathan Isaac for extra debt minimum contracts, and then we can sign a third string center, that will be it, man, I really like this offseason we just had, Maybe Jackson Hayes will want to. I mean, no, I'm not going to sign Jackson Hayes. But it's going to go ahead and bring in Mo Bamba. No, come to the team, Mo Bamba. And then that'll be it. So, play progression. Hopefully, we, we can just keep going up in overalls, and that'll be amazing. So, play progression. We have um, Keontae George going up four. We got Taylor Hendricks going up three. We got Nasri. We got Nicole Jovic. We got Gar. Um, we got Bryson Sabah, Hugh Gonzalez. We got Oshai Baji going up, and so is LeBron. So, I really like who we have here. I really like the team that we have in Utah. Hopefully, if we just if Justin Edwards could develop more, if he can turn to the guy, that will be amazing. But I'll see you guys in the rotation. Irritation is there. Garland, Keontae, George. I, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention I re-signed Oshai Abaji, um, shooting, you know, he, he's averaged eight points per game, 37% from three. They still want to start him, which is interesting, though. Hendricks, Walker, Kessler, Nas, Reed, Justin Edwards. We have, um, obviously, Nikola Jovic. We have Gar. Then they want to have Jonathan Isaac play his last match. Which I'm, I disagree on that. I'm going to go ahead and play Bryson Spah, um with these last 12 minutes. He, last year, averaged 11 points, 45 percent of these he's obviously an electric shooter a really good three-point shooter but i'll see you guys at the end of the season hopefully this year we can be really really good so at the end of the season, we're the third seed. That's the good thing, but I do have some bad news. So we're not fully healthy. We have a couple of our rotational guys that was so 24 from Darius Garland. We had 21 from Keontae George with three rebounds and six. So he was a lot more efficient this year. Shot 39% from three, 45% from the field. But he is going to be out six to eight weeks on a severe sprain right ankle. So he's not going to play through it, sadly. We also got another rotational player out in Nas Reed. But he should be back pretty soon, like one or two weeks. That definitely 
lead us. So we have 14 from Hendricks, 11 from Justin Edwards, 11 from Nicole Yovich, 10 from Sinsaba, 9 from Gar, 7. And then, yes, we, we, we weren't fully, we're not fully healthy against the Mavericks, Dyson Daniels, so no more Luka Doncic, but instead they have Polo Bancaro, which is very interesting. But let's see what happens against the Dallas Mavericks with no Luka, um, which didn't make it easier, and it does. Keontae George, is he, are you back? No, 4 to 6 weeks. So since we eliminated them so easily, um, um, he's on, it's only four to six weeks. So now we have you. Um, the same time as far as Isaiah Collier, Devin Vassell, Eighth Bailey, Victor Benyama, and Jabari Smith. All right. Um, I found one thing wrong with this. One thing I would do is I would play Vic at the center. I know he's like listed as a power forward in 2K, but I would play Vic at the center and Jabari Smith at the four instead of this. But you know they got Josh Giddy off the bench, man. I, I I don't know how they got all this. Zachary Sasher, Kelvin Johnson, Trey Johnson. Goodness. Okay. I'm kind of terrified of the team, but against the Spurs, we are going to push them to seven. We're going to lose. If we had Keontae, okay, so now it says he's out for the season. So I hope that's not, like, a big, big injury because, you know, um, some players, um, they, they just never come back from injuries. Okay, okay, he's, he's coming back, so we good. So um, I definitely think we can use maybe a small forward upgrade. I mean, I definitely think we're ready to go contend maybe. But, you know, a small forward upgrade would definitely be the best thing. So, heading into the draft lottery, we got that Los Angeles Lakers pick, and that is actually projected. Actually, it's not in the lottery, but we projected pick 7 via Minnesota, and we're going to get pick 7 via Minnesota. That Lakers pick ended up being pick 15. So, I, I expected that. We also got um, that Cavaliers pick as well. So, we have pick 7, 15, 18, and a second round pick from the Miami Heat. So, we have a lot of picks, definitely. So, yeah, all well, we have. So, um, pick 7. Let's see who we're projected to go on draft with the mod drafts here. So, projected to go and take Tyrant Soaks. Interesting. So, up into the draft here. Honestly, like, we could. I mean, who's the best player in this draft? So, um, Tyrant Stokes. No way. Did, did that basically say he's going to fall to us? Hold on. So, 2K thinks Tyrant is going to fall to us, which is very unlikely, in my opinion. But if there's any, like, good small forwards in the draft, so let's see. So, Elijah Williams is the best small forward in the draft. I mean, if he can develop better than, um, you know, Justin Edwards, maybe I would go for the shot. But I feel like we're in contention mode. So, it's really no point of doing it. Um, so, Tyron Stokes, he, he actually did a fall to us, as well as Elijah Williams. What is going on? What are these CPUs drafting right now? How did they let two of the best prospects fall to me, man? As well as Alex Costanza? How did they let these guys fall to me? Okay, but do we take Tyron Stokes or Elijah Williams? We don't really need another power forward, in my opinion, so I think we go and take Elijah Williams. So, welcome to the team. Elijah Williams, I was, if we, if, if, um, okay, no, he gets to town, so he's having to say, if he can fall to us, that would be amazing. Amazingly good, but, you know, since, since we didn't take a power forward, I'll take Cameron Holmes, why not? That'll conclude it for now. And then, no, I'll accept all you guys. You guys probably, probably will be used in trade for, like, a better small forward. Just depends. Um, I'll, I'm stepping through the LeBron, I'll bring you back, bro. Um, the golfing offers, we got Keontae George, um, Bryce Sensaba, Aaron Wiggins, um, I'm not going to extend him, so it's going. And then both of these guys, so we have a lot of players in there, okay, we have 13, so we have to, well, I didn't, I didn't expect these guys to be point guards, I didn't look at it, so, actually, we, we might actually make a trade right now, so let's see what we can get for Dylan Mingo, um, Darius, and then maybe, that's probably it, right, then Cameron Holmes, see what we can get for these three guys, so we get Bruce Brown, I mean, what do we need the most, really, um, I would say a small forward, maybe, okay, so small forward, two guard, whatever you want to say, so, anything would really count here, so, Kevin Herter, um, I'm going to go and trade Oshai, Baji, Dylan, and Darius here for a top three protected pick. Not getting a player, just a first round pick. Seems pretty really good to me. So let's see. So Keontae George, I'm going to go and bring you back. It's an absolute stud. Taylor Hendricks as well. Someone else, absolute stud. I'm going to bring you back as well. Bryson Spa, really good three point shooter. So the three of you guys are going to get back. So welcome welcome back to the team. On pretty huge contracts. I don't know if we're hard to capture this. We're probably not. So we got Darius Garland, Gar. We got Keontae George, Bryson Spa, Hugo Gonzalez as well. No, I'll, I'll move Hugo to the three. He goes up to an actually since and Hugo. Um, I'll move since to the three. He, he'll be able to have a small forward over Elijah. And then we, and then Hugo will most likely play the two. 
then we can honestly I would I wouldn't mind signing a backup two just in case. Like Isaiah Joe. Only that I always love signing Isaiah Joe, man. He seems like a steal every single time with only four million. Another so you can never have enough shooting on a team and then sign a third string center, like I said, and that's probably probably will be it. So let's see. Uh, no, I'll bring back Omar Yurtsevin. Why not? He used to play here. I, I like the beginning of the video, so Omar Yurtsevin, another contract we can use in a trade. So I definitely love what we have here in Utah, and I feel like I say this every year, but hopefully this could be the year. And if it's not the year, I'll be looking to make a trade for a better small forward if we can't win a championship this year, which I definitely think we're capable of it. All right, so we took a huge step back this year, and this year we're in the plan. So definitely need to make some big moves here. Um, but you know we got we got Portland. So Scoot, Simons, Okoro, Matt Buzelis, and DeAndre in the starting five, and we're gonna lose. So we're we might get it. We might get bounced out if we don't beat the Minnesota Timberwolves here. So let's see what happens against the Timberwolves. It would definitely suck to go ahead and not even make the playoffs after all the moves we did. And yeah, it would definitely suck. But um. We are going to be eliminated from the playoffs. Wow, I don't know. We're going to have to do the win, but Anthony Edwards cooked us. But, wow, okay. Um, that's I didn't expect that to happen. I expect us to be better, but I guess not. Look, look, looks like we have to make another big move because it, it's just not working, as you can see. So, Durant, Paul George, all these guys are retiring. So, we have to hurry up and make some moves because it's really not working out for us at all. And um, the Nuggets get number one, um, number one overall pick. How are they looking? So, they I feel like they still have a decent team, but do we have any picks in this draft? We have two. So, definitely think it's time to make a move with these. Um, with Maybe Sinsaba, maybe, you know, Elijah. We have definitely, definitely time to make a move. Let's go ahead and see what we can get. I'm going to try to get RJ Barrett, so I'm offering this straight package, and they are going to decline. It's Vin, and they are going to still decline it. Um, what's going we throw in there? Let's see. I'm not throwing Elijah. I'll offer Cameron Holmes, and they agree we get RJ Barrett. Let's go. Signing Darius Garland, I am, I'm going to wait on, um, what just in words, Nas Reed, and then Gar, I'm also giving him an extension, so we're going to be in, uh, most likely salary cap hell after this, but, you know, it's whatever, so Justin Edwards, I'll go ahead and give him a three-year deal with a player option at the end, why not, man, Justin Edwards, um, we're going to have a lot of depth, but, you know, oh, Gar is, okay, so, might have to wait for Gar to come in, squaffing off, and watch him to announce him, but, I won't, oh, I almost pronounced him there, but, Make sure he comes back in his qualifying offer because we're not going to be able to bring you back. So you're going to have to come in your qualifying offer. So to do that, and then that should be it. We, I'll, be, I'll be one to sign like a power forward if we can. So like Jeremiah Robinson, Earl, sign you, then Gar, qualifying offer. So that seems pretty fun. Player progression is looking pretty good. Only player that's going down is Garland. I'll see you guys at the end of the season third seed. This will most likely be the last year where we got the Portland Trailblazers in round one. Player stats, we have 20 from Keontae George, 20, and then 20 from I believe that was Darius Garland, but in the first round, we're going to beat them in seven to play San Antonio, which they have as a Collier, Josh Giddy, Ace Bailey, Big Rodeon, and Jabari Smith still. So against them, we are going to go down three to two. We're going to force the game seven. So game seven versus the Utah Jazz. Let's see what happens. So and I hope, I just hope we can go out and win this game. And it looks like the San Antonio Spurs might have our number for the second straight year. I think it is. And yeah, we, we get absolutely demolished. So, all right. Um, that definitely sucks. So, I'm not going to go go one more year. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I feel like we have enough talent to win. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.